Alrighty. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. I'm uh, just going to start painting some stuff. I don't know what it is. <clears throat> just going to do it for fun. Um, I'm trying to get better with painting and with using light. I'll just do this for about an hour. <clears throat> Let's see. The other day I drew a caravan. Or I keep calling it a caravan. I guess it's just a wagon, but I feel like there's another name for it. So if you guys can think of it, let me know. But... It's just like a wagon. I'm working on a, an idea. And one of the things inside of it is to have this wagon thing. Hmm. I apologize if I sound a little groggy. I'm having a weird indigestion. It's right from bad eating habits. I'm trying again to uh, <clears throat> get back on eating properly, lose weight, feel great, all that kind of stuff. And try to get better sleep, too. Going to sleep after midnight is not cool. Your sleep and your health is very important. If you don't have that, then everything else fails too. All right, so got our base idea of what we want to draw. So now let's make it nighttime. This way we get some cool light effects. And yeah, I know, this is a poor drawing of a wagon or whatever. I'm just trying to get the basics out there. Just to play with light, because I only have an hour, right? So I'm using this red color because it's like a wood wagon made out of wood. Do 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 do. Because this thing is on a on the road, I guess it would be a trail. So let's give it some uh, a road to be on. However, 
it's probably I put gray, but from whatever time this thing is from, there's probably no gray roads. A mix of muddy brown colors, right? Get some black in there, we'll lower the opacity, maybe like 20. And then just do a little scribble like this. I'm trying to think of a cool way to make like a gravel type road. So you do that once, all one line, then you do it again. So this way, every time you add it with a different opacity, it sort of gives it a little texture, I think. And we'll change the brush size too, so this way. Alright, I'm going to try to make this full screen for everybody because it only makes sense they should see it all, right? Get the big picture. Wah, wah, wah. I guess I can go 20% on this, actually. Wait, we're at 20? So let's do 40. 40 on the grass. Yeah. All right, let's make it a little darker. Cool. And now let's put some lights in these lanterns nearby. What I'm doing is um, I'm just doing one circle, another circle, and then another circle. So when you do the opacity, every time you put the brush down, or every time you click on your mouse, it's um, it's just adding more to it. So it's almost like you're just taking like a watercolor and just adding more color. I don't even know if that's a good example. Is it? I don't know. But yeah, it's, you're just like taking layers of that 20%. You're just adding it to the one layer. So we never we didn't make additional layers. We just added it more towards the color that we already had. Um, and it's on its own layer. This way it can affect all the stuff that's behind it. Um, What was the other thing I did last time? Oh yeah, we had like little little firefly characters. So I can do that with white. And then actually firefly is there like a green, right? Neon green. Let's do neon green. They're so cool. See? Little firefly. Happy little firefly. Goes pretty quickly. And I guess uh, one of the other things I think about when I'm doing my artwork. Um, especially when, when I, now that I'm learning or trying to learn how to color and stuff, is how to put in my shading. Because like right now, this you would consider this like cell shading, um, because there's no gradients. And I, maybe when you add the gradients, it's when you're adding like a more realistic approach to uh, coloring. Or yeah, coloring. So I guess it's all about what you're, you know, what you want it to be like.
Yeah. Different types of coloring gives off a different type of effect to the whole piece. Or like a motion. Or like a atmosphere. So we'll name this layer Firefly Light. Go back to my ink layers. I don't even know if I'm going to be using ink. Well, we'll just call this the ink layer. The ink blacks. Ink black, black ink. Yeah, something like that. Oh, whoops. I guess I should make that zero, zero. When you're using a Photoshop, if you hit to zero, it makes your opacity while you're on the... If you cl click on brush and you type in some numbers, it'll affect what the opacity is. Um, I don't really like how that came out, so maybe we'll just leave it as lights, because they're just very small bugs. You, we're not going to notice it, right? Maybe we had like a close-up bug then. We'd see it. Oh, so yeah, anyhow, what I was saying was that... Um, if you if you select brush and you hit like zero zero, it'll give you 100% opacity. If you hit like one zero, then it'll be 10%. Or maybe it's just one. Yeah, one is it. So you do two, it's 20. You do two, three, and it's also about the speed. So if I hit two, it'll just do 20. If I do two four, it'll do 24%. So I'm giving you a little bit of a tutorial. Yeah. Ooh. Um. Oh yeah, so what I was going to do, I was going to do a quick little close-up firefly. What's a good place to put him? Should he be looking at us? Like, yeah, what's going on? I can't remember what a firefly actually looks like, what looks like up close, but... Oh, let's redo that real fast. And no, this is not going to represent how my work's going to look like in my idea, my major end goal thing. This is just playing me playing around, trying to come up with ideas. You know, trying to come up with ideas is a good thing. Let's practice. Their server connection has been lost. Oh. Hmm. It's a little scary when uh, Google Hangouts tells me that my connection's lost. So I feel like <clears throat> maybe I should stop and restart. I can't really tell what's going on in here because it's so dark. But, um,. There's my Firefly guy. Yeah, if I remember correctly, I think they have like an orange head. Yeah, it's pretty bright. <laughs> Didn't mean to put that much in there. And then the back of him is lit up like a neon green Christmas tree. 
And to go down in size real quick on your brush, um, I don't know, can you tell that it's growing? Yeah. You, you guys see a um, like this weird weird rectangle shape, but I see uh, like a circle. If you want to grow your brush, just use the bracket keys that are next to the letter P. Just click on them and they'll grow your brush size. The right bracket key will go uh, bigger and the left bracket key will go smaller. Hmm. Alright, so we want to get a little gray in this wing. Um, let's see. Let's go with 40 for our opacity. So I, I drew it, painted a little uh, transparent gray onto this, and um, now I'm trying to bring out the highlights a little bit, but I'm also going to go back onto that layer of uh, the color and <clears throat> and um, put some more in there. Um, just to get some cool like reflection of the light coming through. And because it's like transparent wings, actually, oh man, I'm thinking fly wings. I think uh, the um, Fireflies, they just have straight up black wings, right? Dum diddly dum dum. So, uh, I guess I'm going for too much realism here, but the main focus is trying to be about light. I guess it's good practice to do a little bit more. I don't know. <laughs> it's good to good practice just to be passionate about your work and then want to do more, I guess, right? Happy little firefly. So cute. Okay. There he is. <clears throat> okay, so now let's get back to this wagon. So I put the lights coming out of the uh, the lanterns there, but let's also um, put some lights uh, on the caravan itself. Maybe it should be highlighted a little bit, right? Yes, no, maybe... Uh, 
And we'll try it out, see what happens. All right, so we'll just go with like a 10%. Sounds good. Actually, let me redo that real quick. The reason why I redid it is because remember I was telling you that uh, when you use the the uh, the brush when you're when you have it o the opacity set to a low number uh, that it multiplies. So I, I didn't want it to be multiple. I wanted it to be all the same in one location. Um, All right, so I got a learning experience going on right now. Probably shouldn't have done what I did the way I did it, but oh well. Say okay, we're learning. I'm learning, you're learning at the same time. Yahoo! Another option that you could do if you don't want to do the opacity the way I did it is I guess you could just paint it the one color and then do a new layer and then just change the opacity of the layer itself. This way, um, you're changing the opacity at any time. But I guess the way I did it for the lights and putting it behind the fireflies, that's a good quick way to do it, you know, just for its own emitted light. But when you're going to be putting... Uh, lights on top of an object, maybe it's good to do what I suggested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's going on? Oh, 10%. Let's go with 20 That's too much. Much too much, man. Adrenochrome. Anybody know what that's from? Feel free to post a comment if you know what adrenochrome is from. Much too much. We can't stay here. This is backcountry. And don't Google it. If you know the answer, then post a reply. But don't cheat, cheater. Feels weird talking to myself while doing this, but I guess it helps me focus. Thinking of the only person that I ever really watched draw or paint Bob Ross. I always wondered if he uh, felt the same way as I do, talking to himself. Because this is like a doorway, I'm sort of getting rid of the light on the outside edges because I feel like the, the what the heck, the inner part of the doorway would uh, cause the light to not show up there. I was thinking of making these windows right over here. So there'll be one on the other side, too. And as you see, I'm not naming any of my layers. Just because I'm doing this really quickly. So, just trying to get some ideas out there. Mm -hmm. And so because this is a window, uh, 
We'll just color it. But that's a little too late. Let's go with 50. Yeah, that's cool. Look at that, it's beautiful, man. And then because the lights are on, we can go in blue and yellow makes a little bit of a green, right? I don't know, maybe that's the wrong color, but I'll try it out, and then I'll make the opacity 25%, and we'll, uh, nah, it's too much, and that window looks more of like a purpley color, so let's go with this light, lighter blue, more towards the purple, red zone. And I'm painting this like this because I'm just going with the idea that it's like a beveled glass. All right. I don't know. <laughs> I just realized I made these like solid wood wheels, but if it was a real wagon, that would be spokes, I guess, to give it, I don't know what it gives it, I'm not an engineer or anything like that, but maybe it would be a, a smoother ride, and also the wheels might move a little quicker with not as much weight on it. I'm putting a little shade inside of the window, too, because, you know, if there's light, adding some shade also helps make the light pop a little bit more, too. I'm trying to put it in the inside zone. I just did, but by zooming in so far, that's okay. We're all good now. And because uh, this is the under part of the wagon, we can make this darker. Let's do 50%. Yeah, that's cool. Um, if you do watch this video and you want to critique it all, just let me know if like the zooming in and zooming out makes you, you know, bothers you at all. 
good to know what you guys think. If you actually do enjoy watching this at all. Hmm. That's my firefly colors. I know this is a very badly uh, composed image. I'm not, I wasn't really trying to make it amazing or like that. Just trying to play with light. There's this one artist I like on a. Well, there's a few artists I like on DeviantArt. Um, her name is like Talig Strog. I don't know what it means. But she does a couple of pieces where she uses light in a cool way, and I like it. Mm. Uh, I'm looking at my uh, this drawing in another window, and it, I get this feeling that the uh, the colors are a little lighter on my other monitor than they are in the one I'm painting on. Maybe what we can do is uh, darken everything up a bit real quick. Oh, that really darkened it up. <laughs> I don't know if there's some sort of layer thing we could do. Using Photoshop for so long, you think I'd know all the answers, but there's still some things I don't know, or still things I haven't memorized. Maybe another thing that we can have going on is another light source, which would be like the moon. So, like in the top right corner, we can pretend that the uh, the moonlight is over there somewhere. Um, so, let's just uh, cast some light down. Uh,
Hmm. That's too much. Much too much, man. Hmm. Not so sure that I like what I just did, but oh well. Let's continue. All right, maybe there's like some highlights from this light source, right? What? I'm on the racer. Hmm. Right, I'm gonna try that other idea I told you about before, which is just painting with the full opacity. Um, and then we'll just make the layer itself. Uh, transparent. A little transparent. Okay. There we go. Under assumption that maybe there's a little bit of a uh, Uh, texture on top. Well, uh, just imagine, you know, like there's the shingles or whatever on top of this wagon. some stone or whatever. Some rubble. Blades of grass. Yeah, I know in Photoshop there there is a a grass uh, brush, pre-made grass brush, but. I don't know. I'm just doing this for fun. Get my learn on. <laughs> this firefly is bothering me because he's so freaking bright in his face. So maybe what we can do is we'll darken his face up. But we'll uh, highlight it with the moon's color.
What a creepy little firefly thing, isn't he? <clears throat> Oops. Now I'm going to try something back on that wagon. Uh, see if I can find the layer. So now this is where if I were to have named my layers, I'd be able to find things easier. Okay. So let's say, for example, everything is masked. I mean, let's say everything is the way it's supposed to be. I'm going to use a mask layer uh, to erase some stuff, but this is just to, I can bring it, so I can bring it back later if I decide that it's not that good of an idea. Um, so what I'm thinking is I want to add some texture to the size of the wagon. So I know that there's light on it, but you know we want to add some shingles in there, right? Or more, you know, wood pieces. So we'll just draw some black onto the masked part of the layer. And this way I'll get a little bit of like a shadowed effect onto the lit parts of the wagon. You know what? Since it is wood, we can add like a wood grain to this too. I'll go back and adjust that on one second. Let's go with uh, just using a black or something on top of it, right? I'll name this. Alright, so let me get into the habit of naming stuff. That sounds good. Wow, I feel like such a noob that I'm actually noobing it up on cam with you guys, but hey, at least, you know, if you're new to this, you're watching the process of things that you might do if you're beginning. And you'll be able to avoid the mistakes that I do.
don't know if it's showing up the same way for you, but for some reason I see like green inside of this. I'm just going to do an overlay on this black. I don't know if it's going to make a difference. Overlay or multiply? I don't know. Let's hit H real quick. H didn't work. So that's multiply. Overlay. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, maybe the overlay and multiply only works if like it's on like a lighter color. So the thing that I'm trying to figure out is like well, what I was thinking to myself was that the uh, overlay or multiply would just, you know, give a different shade, but stay within that color. Maybe I'll just do that quick example on its own layer, on its own document. 200 by 200. All right. So let's fill this in with uh, a pink. And then on the other side, we'll fill it in with a dark red. like we have in our other piece. Alright, and now on a new layer we'll put in some black. And let's try with overlay. Okay, so there it is. So the overlay worked on the lighter color, but the dark one it just... Maybe it still works, but it's just not as... You just don't notice it because it's already dark. Yeah. Okay, so that was a good test. Overlay. Alrighty. It's eleven thirteen. Uh I don't quite remember when I started this. But Let's save it. 0625-2012. Wagon. Uh, wagon. I guess I can add more shading to this piece overall. Whoops. Can't wait, you know. After I do this for a couple more years, I can look back at this and go, oh my god, did I really do that? And hopefully I'll be a lot better than, than I am now. Hmm. 
All right. I guess that's enough. I'll make some uh, more stuff next time. And even though this isn't anything special, I'll put my signature in it because gotta sign it right. Do 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 do. -do. It's not really signing it. It's my stamp. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the end of this broadcast. If you want to see more stuff, linedetail.com for my links to a whole bunch of other things. Peace.